I like the way that you don't affect paint as much directly. That there's a more natural element to it. The, the one that you just took video of is a little bit different, but most of mine have more to do with like ever since my wife Stephanie told me about Jackson Pollock, the idea that the painter doesn't have as much of a direct impact on the way the paint goes, I've always liked that. And so I've done my own methodology for trying to do that. So kind of my own kind of fun chaos inside control. stirring whisk uh, it's the thing that has created the most controllable patterns that I don't directly influence it's I've, I've tried using a brush um, other different things that painters have told me to try and use for painting an abstract methodology but it was more of a shot in the dark kind of thing that I tried different random tools a stirrer stick um, a fork a water bottle that I literally just squeezed until it popped <laughs> um, but the whisk did the thing that I enjoyed the most as far as a visual <laughs> maybe it's just because we've never had full control over our normal life but we do, I like non-standard, and I think that's driven a lot of the little things that I enjoy. So it's, it's not necessarily just chaos for the sake of chaos, it's the idea of organized disorder. Typically, in the art I see in other people, I typically find myself, I like monochromatic more. The blacks and whites and maybe one pop of color. But when I do my own paintings, I've discovered more color, vibrant color is better in my own design. I like it. <laughs> Almost just explosive color. I like, the more color I can manage to shove in, the better. Paint is the, in a more abstract form typically, is the only thing that I actually feel successful at the end of it. That it, what was in my brain is more closely represented on whatever surface I paint on, as opposed to sketching or any other methodology. <laughs>